he's like going into detail like this he's like this is the exact stuff that he said and he's like um top should be very like top should be okay like you on top should be fine and i'm just sitting there like hey guys welcome back to my youtube so this is the first time video that i've had in my car well the beginning of the video because this might not end in my car um i got my coffee from burger king it's almost gone i am just arrived at my house so i'm kind of just parked here i'm about to go in and i have like 30 minutes to um do some makeup and I actually just bought some new makeup from the brand called Flower. I've never used it before. So I'm going to use it and see how I like it. Um, I got this stuff on clearance. And then I'm just going to show you guys the products and then show you like what my face looks like. I don't know if I'm going to do it and just, I don't really like to do tutorials because it's kind of long. Like, I just don't want this video to be long. The last kind of makeup video I did was, um, not that long, but I just kind of want this to be short type of vlog day. So I might just do my makeup and show you the products and then show you the after, the before and after, I guess. Um, all right, guys. I'm going to go inside and do my makeup. And like I said, I have 30 minutes to get to this appointment. So I think my brother and his um, girlfriend are going to go with me, but they're not going to be able to go into the office. They're just going to have to stay like in the downstairs lobby or something. So I'm not sure. I got this Light Illusion Full Coverage and it's from the brand Flower. Um, it says Weightless Feel Crease Proof. And it originally is $8.98 and then I got it for a dollar. So I will like to that I got it for a dollar. Again, I've never tried this brand. Again, this is a Flower um, Highlight Palette and it's originally $12.98 and I got it for $1.50. So, and then this just kind of shows, like, where you can put it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. My nose is a little stuffy, so I'm kind of breathing through my mouth. But, um, this is the Light Illusion. So, it goes with the, um, concealer. Let me get them side by side. And this is the flower brand um, foundation. Let me see what it says. Sorry, you can barely see it because the. So it says luminous makeup nude skin feel. So I opened it, um, but I have not tried it. I just opened this part right here. This is the only thing I opened because I was gonna mess with the makeup, but I hadn't messed with it, so I just kind of left everything else open. I mean, unopened. And then this was the only thing I opened. But I got this for $1.50 and this is $12.98 as well. <coughs> I got this matte lippy. It's originally $7.98 for a dollar. Which I don't usually wear a lot of lippies. But that's the reason why I kind of bought a different color. Because I was like, oh, maybe I can do a cute eyeshadow with this. And, you know, wear it and maybe it'll look good. Because I don't wear a lot of lippies. Um, I got this LA Colors um, Brow Pencil again. 75 cents <laughs> sorry it's getting out of the bag and this is the LA Colors contour stick and then again I got it for 75 cents
got gas um and here's my makeup i actually kind of like that brand honestly um i've never heard of that brand before i've never seen it on the shelves i'm not sure you guys tell me if you've seen that brand before it's called flower and yeah i like it like the foundation does feel light and the concealer like um i mean i, I like it i used um the la colors brow sorry sorry i'm making sure i can get into this lane and look both ways don't want to wreck while i'm videoing that would be bad um i used the la colors brow pencil that i um sorry something popped up my phone that i showed y'all that i got for 75 cents and it literally was amazing like i've never seen it like i've never used a pencil before so i don't i was I guess kind of scared like i've seen everyone's um brows look really good with the um, gel and stuff like that and so i was like you know i want to try it with the gel and i just could never get mine to look that good and then i think the pencil is my like mine like my way to do it like screw the gel and stuff like that like i just couldn't get it that way i think i really like using the pencil right now and my eyebrows are thick right now like this is thick on this side and i need to get them you know waxed but coronavirus is closed everything down so i can't do that i don't know anyone who knows how to wax i don't know how to wax i would probably wax all my eyebrows off it so I'm not gonna try to do it at home myself. I hate people. Like if you're gonna drive and go like across and almost hit my car, there's a line literally right in front of me. Don't cross the line. I, oh, sorry guys, I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but they were turning and I'm in the median. So they were coming like from this way and almost like like hit the front of my car like y'all can't turn you know a little bit wider so you don't hit my car <sighs> oh people like and they want to look at me like i'm back past the line you have plenty of room that line means that's where you're i'm supposed to be and stopped don't fucking look at me excuse me mm, get me all mad like you're gonna hit my car go ahead ridiculous they just kind of made me mad like it was two cars like i didn't do anything wrong if i'm back past that line like you want me to be three cars back so you can turn crazy like it's not my fault this is just kind of how the road is i mean i drive you know when i come off that exit and i turn like that to go left i don't hit anybody you know i don't get close to people and back to what i was saying guys <laughs> They make me mad this morning. Um, yeah, so I'm on my way to my appointment. I gotta go to the gynecologist. Um, goodness. So, and they called me on Wednesday and was like, um, don't bring anybody with you. Um, no kids, no spouses, just you. And I was like, great. But, uh, it's understandable. You know, you don't want to get anybody sick. Like, if you have it, I mean, your symptoms can come up to, like, days later. You don't even know you have it. So, I'm um, just praying that this stuff goes away. Like, people want to enjoy their summer. And people want to get back to their jobs. Like, businesses want to start opening. Like, people need jobs. Like, our unemployment rate is really high. So, I'm just praying for those who don't have their job because I'm lucky enough that I have my job but I have it like part time right now again just so we can save money for our you know uh, since daycare we cut back on the um, days for part did part time instead of full time so we can save a little bit of money and then I had to I had to cut back on a little bit of hours which it wasn't much hours because when I was doing full time I was only getting like 31 hours it wasn't 40, which I would like, but again, I'm still blessed to have my job. Um, my boss is amazing. Like, he 
asking if we need groceries. He's asking if everything's okay. With like, he even asks me every day. He sees me. How is your baby? How are you? Like, is, you know, do you need any money? Like, he's amazing. And I just started this job, and I, I love it. I love my job. Um, so yeah, I wish I could do full time right now, but again, we we just decided to do part time because of daycare. So, I'm going to tell you about my um, appointment. So, I went in and, you know, I just was in the waiting room. And, you know, all of us are, like, social distancing. We got, like, seats that are, like, spread apart and stuff like that. Um, well, us women are in seats. You know, like, we're spreading out seats and we're not sitting, like, right next to each other and stuff like that. Because there was a couple of us girls in there. Um, and we were not allowed to bring, like, any family members or, um, any, like, significant others, which I'm not pregnant, so it was just, like, go in, go out, but I know a lot of people that, who are pregnant, this is kind of a hurtful time, or can be, like, kind of hurtful for them because they want to have their significant other there getting ultrasounds and stuff, so if you are pregnant, uh, we'll be praying for you, um, because I would honestly hate that too. Like my fiance went to just about every appointment with me because one, I didn't have a car. So I had to have his car. Then I didn't have a car. And, and then two, I mean, I had so many appointments. Like I, I was high risk. And then I, um, had my regular OB appointment. So I, just told him like I need you to take me you know I eventually whenever I got to like the end I eventually started asking my mom and uh, brother to take me because I knew that it was just like ultrasound and um at like my high risk it'd be just like ultrasound and get out so but I understand like for the ladies you know who have to go through any high risk problems or you know just even now they're being restricted on just one person in the room so you have to choose and that's hard because I had a handful of people in my delivery room. Um, I had a friend. Well, she's no longer a friend, but a used to be friend of mine in the room, which was supposed to be my son's godmother. I had my mom. I had my fiance's mom and my fiance. So I had four people, four people in the room. And they only wanted three, but I think my friend my used to be friend kind of blended in because she had scrubs on so they really didn't question her um but back to my appointment guys so i went in you know sitting and waiting and then went back did the blood pressure the weight all that got me to a room and then i waited and then he comes in does the exam you know pap smear just an, like an annual thing that you would do but the reason why i went to it because I had to get the exam done was because um my lady parts was hurt, hurting during 
intercourse. So, um, I had to, like, figure out, like, what's going on? Why is it hurting? Like, it's only been hurting after birth. So, I had now found out that my OBGYN had said that my cervix had fell, like, after having my son. So, I've never experienced this. Like, I don't have a lot of kids. Like, some people were like, oh, sometimes I don't do that. Like, I don't know what to do. You know, I've never had any type of pain down there. Or I've never knew that that could even happen ever. So, my cervix fell. At which, I, I at the beginning of my pregnancy with Zayden, was almost high risk for, like, short cervix. Whenever I got an ultrasound um, done there in my OB's office, I had to be referred out to high risk because they thought I had short cervix. But then when I went to the high risk, the high risk was like, no, your cervix is fine. And then they cleared me. They were like, no, everything's fine. Your cervix is good because the high risk um, equipment is just basically newer and up to date and better than, like, the OB offices. So... That's kind of what happened, but yeah, my cervix fell lower. So if I was to have another baby, I probably could be more at high risk for short cervix. So we're just gonna keep an eye on it. But talking with my OB, like after you know doing the exam, he's like, "Come to my office," and I was like, "Okay, great." Well, you know, we're gonna discuss like what's going on. I thought it was just the stitching that you know you have to get after birth if you get torn or whatever. In my case, I had to get the, where they cut you down there. I don't know the exact medical term. But, um, yeah. So, we go in his office and he's like, your cervix has fell. And I was like, what? My coochie is falling out? Like, what you talking about? But, no, I'm just kidding. I know what, I know what cervix is. So, he's like, no, it just fell. So, it's going to be uncomfortable. But, you have to, like, learn to work, work it out. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> So he's like, you need to try different positions. And he's like going into detail like this. He's like, this is the exact stuff that he's saying. He's like, um, top should be very, like top should be okay. Like you on top should be fine. And I'm just sitting there like, okay, thanks. Thanks for letting me know this. <laughs> and and um, then he is saying, um, your legs in the air. He said, that's not going to be comfortable. That will hurt. Don't do that. I'm sitting like, okay, great. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks again for the, all these tips because I don't know what I'm doing because obviously I'm in pain <laughs> when I try to do these things. So he's just giving me tips and tricks and all this stuff. That he, he's literally, he's telling me what to do. I'm like, mm, okay, great. Mm. I'm sitting there just, I don't know, even know what to say. Like, I'm, I'm like, oh, okay. He's just saying, don't do this, don't do that. You need to experiment. And I'm like, hmm. Oh, really, child? Because <laughs> I, I don't know. I've never I've never experienced this before, like having your cervix fall. But I'm not sure if it's normal or not. Maybe some of you mommies can tell me if your cervix had, like, fell whenever you had a baby. Your first baby. This is my first baby. Or any baby. I guess it really doesn't matter, but... That's kind of how my day went. I'm just at home now watching Netflix. And then I'm going to go get my baby soon. That'll really be... I kind of need to clean up. But I want to relax. So, guys, thank you for watching my YouTube video. And I hope you like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Thanks.